All right, my friends, we're now on laws of milk and meat. We're giving sort of an overview of this, but we're, we're giving a, a, a um, intimate overview of the laws of milk and meat. And now we are beginning chapter 94. Chapter 94, yes. I have a question. Yesterday you started talking about the uh, spoon. About the it what? The spoon that was dipped in boiling milk. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about now. Okay. That's what we're going to talk about now. That's chapter 94. Okay, now yesterday we learned that not only is actual meat forbidden in, in milk, but even the taste of meat is forbidden in milk. For instance, let's say you have a big pot of milk and there fell in a piece of meat and you took the meat out. All that's left is the taste of meat in that milk. Well, that's forbidden. What if there never was any meat? What if you just took a spoon and stuck it into a pot of meat and stirred boiling meat and then you took that same spoon and hopefully by accident, used it to stir a big pot of milk. Okay, we learned before that that spoon is considered to be 100% meat. We don't look at the metal as being something separate from the meat. We look at the metal want to be 100% meat. If you stir, stir up that pot, right? Look at the meat. So the spoon, let's say that spoon is a one ounce spoon. A one ounce spoon. Here we have a good example. Here we got here. So we have, can you can see this? So this is, let's say a spoon. Here's my spoon and it's one ounce spoon. Okay. If, if I stick this spoon in up to here, into the pot, stick the spoon in up to there. So we say whatever I stuck into the pot, you have to have 60 now in the pot, a pot of milk. This pot of milk. You have to have now 60 in the milk against what I stuck in. There's another opinion that says I have to have 60 against the whole entire spoon if it's metal. Because metal, if a little bit gets hot, the whole thing gets hot. But the final law is not that way. All you have to have is against. Okay, so that's how we started off. Let's, let's read that again. Okay, here we go. Law number one. Atochev kaf cholevis, one who sticks a milchika spoon in a kadera shel baser. Okay, this is changing around. I said a, a fleshik spoon in a pot of milk. It's the same thing. A milchika spoon, what is a milchika spoon? You stirred up a pot of boiling hot milk with a spoon, a brand new spoon. And now you stuck that brand new spoon, let's say it's one ounce big, the, the part that you stuck in, one ounce spoon, you stuck that spoon into a pot of boiling hot meat. So a tochev kaf cholevis, you stick a spoon, a milk a spoon, there's no milk on that spoon, no milk, the, 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 the spoon is totally clean, but it has the taste of meat in the spoon. You stick this into actual meat, or the other way around, a, a meaty spoon in milk. We estimate whatever you stuck of that spoon, how much of that spoon went into the soup, you, uh, the, 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 the cholent or whatever, you have to have 60 in the cholent against that much of the spoon. What? But we say only in a kafu ben yoma. It has to be that that spoon was used less than 24 hours ago. It's within 24 hours of it being stirred up the opposite type. The hainu, namely, shishim shubo b'kli rishon. And the, what you stirred up with the spoon was a kli rishon. It was a pot that was on the fire. On the fire, or is a pot that had been directly on the fire, and you took it off, and it was still boiling. And it's toch me'et le'et, and it's within 24 hours. Okay, so now you have the spoon. Some people say yesh omrim. This is the second opinion that I talked to you about. Yesh omrim. Some people say that yesh misha oser yesh imakaf if matechet that if the spoon is metal, that you estimate the whole entire spoon because cham mikzato cham kulo. If a little bit of this metal spoon gets hot, let's take in our case, it's a milchik spoon. 
if a little bit is hot and you stick in, let's say, only the head of the spoon, we say the whole thing gets hot and it spits out everything. It's sucked up. The whole entire spoon becomes milchik. And as soon as you stick it into meat, then the whole entire spoon spits out all that milk into the pot. And he says, this is where we show an eker. And the first opinion is the main one, namely only what you stick of the spoon into the milk is forbidden. Let's start bait. In kadira, stay pami. What if you stuck this spoon into the pot twice? Lo no da, and you didn't know between them? In other words, you take this, this again, you have a milk like a spoon, you just stirred up a big pot of milk with it, right? It's really hot, boiling milk. You take this spoon and you wash it off, set it down, go to the bathroom, come back, or let's say somebody else comes back, right? And they're boiling a pot of meat. Oh, here's a nice spoon. They take the spoon and they stir the meat up with, right? <clears throat> and then they put this spoon back down and this person <clears throat> goes and he gets a phone call and he comes back <clears throat> and he stirs the spot this pot up again with the same spoon okay again <clears throat> this spoon had been stuck into a milk like a boiling milk and then that same spoon had been stuck twice into boiling meat what's the law so you're, well now what's the law what's the problem What's the problem? I mean, obviously only one time, right? He says, no, there's two issues here. First of all, this spoon is full of milk, full of milk. We say milk taste, you stuck it into meat, you pulled it out, all the milk taste goes out into the meat. I have to have 60 in the meat against the spoon. But that spoon, maybe a little bit stayed back in that spoon, a little bit of that milk taste, we don't know. So we say, let's be severe. Everything, 100% came out of this spoon into the pot. You have to have 60 against the spoon or whatever you stuck of the spoon in the meat. Now that spoon became forbidden. Meat went into this milk like a spoon. The second time you stuck it in, you've got another transgression. Namely what? The taste of the milk that's in that spoon became forbidden from the taste of the meat that went in the spoon. Huh? And now you stick in the second time is it's going to come out again, a brand new iser, a brand new thing. So you maybe says the machaber, if you stuck that spoon in twice and you didn't know between, then you have to have two times 60. Says the Ramah, yesh omim, some people <coughs> say the sagi that is sufficient with one time, <coughs> one time, and that is the custom. We only do one time. So you don't have to worry. <clears throat> and that is it for today. God bless you all. Tomorrow we're going to learn 8.15